हेलो दोस्तों राम सर अकेडमी ऑफ मैथ्स में आपका स्वागत है टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑफ चैप्टर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल ऑफ क्लास टेंथ एंड विल डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर एक्सरसाइज 1.4 एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 1.4 इज इक्वेशन रिड्यूसिबल टू लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल मतलब ओरिजिनली द इक्वेशन इज नॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल फर्स्ट विल कन्वर्ट दैट इक्वेशन इन टू लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल वी सॉल्व देम एंड देन विल फाइंड आउट आंसर फॉर गिवन इक्वेशन सो फॉर दिस विल डिस्कस अ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट एंड देन विल स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन वेन एवर वी हैव टू अपॉन एक्स सो वी कैन राइट दिस टू अपॉन एक्स एज 2 multiply by 1 upon x because when we multiply 2 with 1 we are getting again same term similarly if we have minus pi upon y so we can write on this minus pi upon y as minus 5 into 1 upon y why this is necessary to understand because in linear equation in two variable the standard form of linear equation is ax plus by equal to c the variables are always in multiplication not in division so therefore it is very important to understand this so before starting with the questions of exercise 1.4 i request you all to subscribe our channel if not subscribe till now let's continue with the question exercise 1.4 Four and the question number one is solve the following simultaneous equation. And the first question of the exercise is two upon x minus three upon y is equal to fifteen. And second equation is eight upon x plus five upon y is equal to seventy-seven. And if we compare these equations with standard form of linear equation in two variable, that is ax plus by equal to c. so we come to know that this is not in the standard form of linear equation and if we think about cross multiplication then also this sum become lengthy because in denominator we are getting x into y and in linear equation in two variable we never have multiplication of variable so we go with the alternate option that is called as substitution this first equation can be written as 2 into 1 upon x minus 3 into 1 upon y is equal to 15 as we discussed in the first starting of the lecture and the second equation can be represented as 8 into 1 upon x plus 5 into 1 upon y is equal to 77 now if we observe this modified form in both the equation modified form of the equation we have 1 upon x and 1 upon y so for time being we replace this 1 upon x and 1 upon y by some another variable so we'll substitute 1 upon x is equal to a and 1 upon y is equal to b so our equation 1 which is modified become 2a minus 3b equal to 15 and second equation which we modified gives you 8a plus 5b equal to 77 we mark them as equation number 1 and equation number 2 respectively now this become a standard form of linear equation in two variable now our aim is to find out value of a and b and by taking the help of a and b we can easily find out the value of x and y so let's continue we all know how to solve linear equation in two variable so first we compare coefficient of a so if we are observing coefficient of a are not equal and if we compare the coefficient of b then coefficient of b is also not equal so our aim is to make coefficient of any one variable equal so it's easy to make coefficient of a equal choice yours wo aapka choice hai ki aap kaun se variable ke coefficient ko equal karna chahte so if we multiply first equation by 4 we get 8a minus 12b equal to 60, and we mark this modified form of equation number one as equation number three. Now, if we check equation number two and equation number three, we check coefficient of 
variable a are equal so now we can proceed further what we do we subtract 2 from 3 so 2 from 3 matlab 3 may say 2 ko subtract karna hai so we write down equation number 3 below that we'll write down equation number 2 and since sin of 8a and in first equation and 8a in second equation which we are subtracting their signs are same so we are doing subtraction and whenever we are doing subtraction signs are change so jo plus hoga wo minus jo plus hoga wo minus jo plus hoga wo minus keep in mind this change is very important so when we do this changes plus a minus 8 a plus 8 a will cancel and we get minus 12 b minus 5 b is equal to minus 17 b which is equal to 60 minus 77 gives you minus 70 17 so now we can find out from this value of b value of b we will get as 1 now after getting value of b it's very uh, obvious we know very well ki how to find out value of a so we substitute this value of b in any one equation here we prefer to substitute in 1 so when we substitute in 1 we get 2a minus 3b this is your equation number 1 here you have to substitute here we have to substitute that equation may a ka b ka value 1 so we get 2a minus 3 into 1 equal to 15 so 3 ones are 3 that we shift on another side so we get 2a is equal to 15 plus 3 that is equal to 8 so we get a equal to 9 so a ka value humme mil gaya so now what we do a or b milne ke baad our aim is to find out value of x because in original question x is a variable so what we do we do resubstitute so keep in mind whenever you are doing substitution at the end you have to do resubstitution be careful of this so a ka value we obtained as 9 so we get a 1 upon x is equal to 9 instead of this a we are writing 1 upon x and similarly instead of b we are writing 1 upon y here so we get 1 upon y is equal to 1 upon y is equal to 1 so after this you can refer cross multiplication or you can do a concept which we discuss in 9 standard that is invertendo so 1 upon x ka ulta ho jayega x or 9 ka ulta ho jayega 1 upon 9 Similarly, y, 1 upon y ka ulta, ulta matlab invert ho jayega y or 1 ka ulta ho jayega 1 only. So, we are getting x ka value as 1 upon 9 and y ka value as 1 upon 1, 1 that is nothing but equal to 1 is our solution of given simultaneous equation. So, these questions are initially not in a standard form of linear equation. We convert them into the form of the linear equation in two variable and we simplify and then we'll resubstitute to get the value of original variable that is x and y let's understand some more question one of the important exercise because ye exercise se question board mein hamesha hota hi hota hai so practice it properly Bahut basic hai simple hai aap kar sakta hai the question number two which we are selecting from the problem set question number four ka six because this is what the similar question we have in problem set that is 7x minus 2y upon xy is equal to 5 and second equation is 8x plus 7y upon xy is equal to 15. Now again as we discussed, just like I have previously said, if you do cross multiplication, then you will get upon xy aayega. and in the standard form of linear equation, we never have x into y. So now what to do for this question? This two question can be written as by separating the denominator hum dono equations mein we separate denominator with the numerator so we get for first equation 7x upon xy minus 2y upon xy is equal to 5 and similarly second equation become second equation we are getting here as second equation getting as 8x upon xy plus 7y upon xy is equal to 15 so if we check in the first equation we can cancel x and x and in second term we can cancel y and y so we get 2 up 7 upon y minus 2 upon x is equal to 5 and if we check in this equation here we can cancel x and x ka term and y and y ka term 
from first and second term respectively so we get 8 upon y plus 7 upon x is equal to 15 now this sum is become same as the previous one again we have to check what is common in both so when we modified them we get in both the equation 1 upon y and 1 upon x so we replace that 1 upon y by a and 1 upon x by b any substitution any alphabet you can select for substitution so this our first equation become first equation become 7a minus 2b is equal to 5 and second equation become 8a plus 7b is equal to 15 we mark them as equation 1 and 2 respectively now after this again same way you have to simplify them so choice r's we have to make coefficient of a equal or b equal so here we prefer coefficient of b to make equal because wo smaller hai as compared to coefficient of a so in that case check what is coefficient of b without sign so we have coefficient of b without sign as 2 and 7 so what we do we find out lcm of 2 and 7 so lcm of 2 and 7 gives you 14 so 2 ko 14 banane ke liye will multiply 7 and 7 ko 14 multi banane ke liye will multiply by 2 so be careful 2 ko 7 se multiply kar rahe hain aur 7 ko 2 se so equation number 1 this is our equation number 1 we multiply this equation by 7 and multiply this equation by 2 so we'll write down that statement multiply equation number 1 by 7 and equation 2 by 2 so simultaneously if we do multiplication for first equation we get 7 7 is 49 here we are doing multiplication so we are getting 7 7 is 49 minus 14 b is equal to 35 and if we multiply 2 in second equation this is what our second equation so we get 2 8 is 16 a plus 14 b is equal to 30 since we modified both the equation therefore respectively we mark them as equation 3 and equation 4 now we forget about equation 1 and 2 page and need and for finding value of a and b we'll select equation 3 and 4 so let's select and check what operation you have to do so 14 b ka sign in third equation is negative and 14 b ka sign in fourth equation is positive so different sign so we do addition of equation number 3 and equation number 4 so we'll write them again and we add so when we are, whenever we are doing addition there is no change in sign so directly we do simplification minus 14b plus 14b will cancel and 49a plus 16a gives you 65a and on right hand side 35 plus 30 gives you 65 so by this we can find out value of a and value of a we are getting as 1. Now substitute value of a in 1, value of a as 1 in any equation. So we prefer to substitute in 2 because 1 or 2 say 3, 4 aya tha. So 1, 2 mein rakhe to zyada achha jo original equations rehte hain. So we are getting 8 into 1. This is our equation number 2. Here we have to substitute 8, a ka value as 1. So we get answer as 8 into 1 plus 7b is equal to 15. So 8 ones are 8 plus 7b is equal to 15. For finding value of b, we shift 8 on right hand side. That gives you 7b is equal to 15 minus 8. So we get b is equal to 7b is equal to 7. So b ka value we obtained as 1. So it's very simple number of time 9th may be apne kiya hai 10th may be amne first lecture may discuss kiya how to solve linear equation and it's again after substitution it's a simple linear equation only now we do resubstitution to find out value of original variable that is x and y so instead of a we are writing 1 upon y here and instead of b we are writing 1 upon x so we get 1 upon y is equal to 1 and 1 upon x is equal to 1 now again we do invert end though so 1 upon y ka ulta y 1 ka remains as it is so y ka value 1 and similarly if you think about the next one is 
we are getting x ka value also 1. So we get a value of original variable which are x and y. So we'll write our final answer. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is a solution of given simultaneous equation. So problem set me is make sit thoda alag kya tha? Denominator separate karna. Let's continue one more question from the exercise 1.4 main question 1 ka sub question number 3. The question is 27 upon x minus 2 plus 31 upon y plus 3 is equal to 85. 31 upon x minus 2 plus 27 upon y plus 3 equal to 89. These are the two equations we have. Previously also we completed this type of sum. But what is difference in this question and the previous questions? Previous question mein denominator mein monomial terms are there. Matlab ya to sirf x ya to sirf y hota tha. But now in denominator we have binomial that is x minus 2 and y plus 3. But the way for solving this type of question remains same. Let's understand how we'll solve this. First we modify this equations. So modified form we can write on as 27 multiplied by 1 upon x minus 2 plus 31 multiplied by y plus multiplied by 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to 85. And second equation modified as 31 into 1 upon x minus 2 plus 27 into 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to 89. These are the two modified form we are getting for our, our equations. Now if you observe both the equation, in both equation, modified form of equation, we have 1 upon x minus 2 and 1 upon y plus 3. So what we do, we replace them by some another alphabet. So we are writing 1 upon x minus 2 is replaced by A and 1 upon y plus 3 is replaced by B. So our first equation become 27A plus 31B is equal to 85. It is in a standard form of linear equation. So we will mark it as equation number 1. Second equation modified as 31A plus 27B is equal to 89. Again in a standard form of linear equation. So we mark this as equation number 2. Now for solving these two equations, we have to make coefficient of A equal or coefficient of B equal. But the coefficients are bigger one. So we observe here a concept. Whatever is the coefficient of A in first equation, that same number is the coefficient of B in second equation. And same for whatever is the coefficient of B in first equation is a coefficient of A in second equation. So such type of question solved by a trick called as ASA rule. Means we add these two equation. Then we subtract these two equations so that we get two new equations. We again add them to get value of variable. Let's proceed. Understand what we discussed. Add equation number 1 and 2. So when we add equation 1 and 2, we get 27 plus 31a become 58a plus 31b plus 27b gives you 58b is equal to 174. If we are observing A ka coefficient or B ka coefficient is 58 which is same as well as 174 is also divisible by 58. So what we do we divide throughout by 58. So we get our new equation as A plus B is equal to 3. So we mark this as equation number 3. Now after addition operation we do subtraction. Subtract 1 from 2. So write down equation number 2 first. Below that write down equation number 1 and since we subtracting therefore we are changing the sign of equation number 1. So it become plus k minus plus k minus. So now we'll do subtraction. So we get 31a minus 27a equal to 4a minus 4b is equal to 4. Again we observe 4 is common in all so we divide throughout by 4 we get a minus b is equal to 1. So we mark this one as equation number 4. Now after adding we are getting one equation which is our equation number 3. After subtracting we are getting one more equation which is equation number 4. Now we do addition of these two num equations. 
that is a plus b equal to 3 and a minus b is equal to 1. So when we add, we get plus b minus b will cancel, gives you 2a equal to 4. And 2, if we divide on right hand side, we get a is equal to 2. Now we done with the value of a. For finding value of b, what we do? We substitute this a ka value in any one equation. We prefer to substitute in 3. So we write substitute a is equal to 2 in equation number 3. So jahan pe bhi equation number 3 mein a dikhega, uske jage pe we will write on a. So equation number 3 become 2 plus b is equal to 3 shift 2 on another side we get b is equal to 1 so we're done with the value of a and b now for finding value of x and y we have to do resubstitution so we write resubstitute a is equal to 1 upon x minus 2 and b is equal to 1 upon y plus 3 so a ka value to humne obtain kiya hai 2 so we get 2 is equal to 1 upon x minus 2 and b ka value is 1 so we get 1 is equal to 1 upon y plus 3 now for finding value of x simply we do cross multiplication so we get 2 into x minus 2 is equal to 1 now for further simplification of this only multiply 2 inside the bracket so we get 2x minus 4 is equal to 1 now shift minus 4 on right gives you plus 4 so 1 plus 4 gives you 5 or 2x ke saath jo 2 hai wo divide kar denge aap so we get x is equal to 5 by 2 for finding value of y again we do cross multiplication so we get y plus 3 is equal to 1 so 3 ko aap right mein bhejenge so we get y is equal to 1 minus 3 which is equal to minus 2 so we get value of x and y which is the original variable for given equation so we write our final answer x is equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to minus 2 is a given is a solution of given simultaneous equation let's discuss the last question of this type which is one of the important question for board exam and the question is 1 upon 3x plus y plus 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 into 3x plus y minus 1 upon 2 into 3x minus y is equal to minus 1 upon 8. What is difference in this question than the previous one? Here also in denominator we have binomial but that two terms which we have in denominator having variable. Previous wale mein a ki term ke saath variable tha dusre wale ke saath sif number tha. So the same way we proceed for this sum also. Here you can write down the first equation as 1 upon 3x plus y plus 1 upon 3x minus y. Wo pehle se hai, aur modify karne ka zarurat nahi hai. But right hand side mein aap check karenge to 3 upon 4 hai. So wo divide wala 4 hata de to zyada achha hai humare liye. So what we do we multiply throughout by 4. So we get 4 upon 3x plus y plus 4 upon 3x minus y is equal to 3. अगर आप वो 4 अभी नहीं हटाएंगे तो आपको आगे जाके हटाना है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं चॉइस योर्स नाउ सिमिलरली दिस सेकंड इक्वेशन आल्सो मॉडिफाइड एज तो डिनोमिनेटर में आप चेक करेंगे तो वी हैव 2 2 एंड 8 सो वी ट्राई टू रिमूव दैट नंबर्स फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस अगर वो डिनोमिनेटर से नंबर हट जाएंगे ना तो बहुत इजी भी हो जाएगा सम सॉल्व करना और प्रीवियस सम के जैसे भी हो जाएंगे so we take LCM of 2 and 8. So LCM of 2 and 8 is 8. So we multiply throughout by 8 for this equation. So we get 4 upon 3x plus y minus 4 upon 3x minus y is equal to minus 1. 8 se multiply kya to 2 ne denominator wale ne usse cancel kya so that we get 4. Now we have these two equations with us. And in both, we have 1 upon 3x plus y and 1 upon 3x minus y. We replace them by a and b respectively. So our first equation become this one 4 into a plus 4 into b is equal to 3, which we mark it as equation 1. 
and second equation this one become 4a minus 4b is equal to minus 1 and we mark this as equation number 2. Now if we think about to solving this a ka bhi coefficient same hai b ka bhi coefficient same hai choice yours which operation you want to do. We prefer to do addition by taking the help of coefficient of b different sign hai to we prefer addition. So when we do addition we get 4a plus 4b is equal to 3 upon and 4a minus 4b is equal to minus 1. Let add. So when we add plus 4b minus 4b will cancel and we get 8a is equal to 2. So a ka value we get 2 upon 8 which is nothing but 1 upon 4. And after getting value of a we will substitute this value in any one equation. We prefer to substitute in 1. So 1 may substitute kar rahe hai, to jahan bhi a dikha, 1 by 4 likhenge. So we get 4 into 1 upon 4 plus 4b is equal to 3. So 4 and 4 will cancel. We left with 1 plus 4b is equal to 3. That gives you 4b is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2. So b ka value we get 2 upon 4 which is equal to 1 upon 2. Now what we do? We do resubstitution because whenever we do substitution we have to do resubstitution. So a ka jage pe likhne wale 1 upon 3x plus y and b ke jage pe hum likhne wale 1 upon 3x minus y. So a ka value we have 1 upon 4 become equal to 1 upon 3x plus y and b ka value we have as 1 upon 2 which is equal to we will write 1 upon 3x minus y. Now again we have to find out value of x and y so we have to do here cross multiplication so when we do cross multiplication we get for this equation 3x plus y is equal to 4 and for second equation we get 3x minus y is equal to 2 this one so we mark them as equation 3 and 4 respectively so be careful of this and after this again if you are observing we are getting two more linear equation. Therefore, this is one of the important one. Denominator mein do variable te to resubstitution ke baad bhi do linear equation aya. <coughs> so, we have to solve them. Solve karte hai. So, simply plus y minus y hai. Dono ka coefficient same hai. Sign different hai. So, we do addition of equation 3 and 4. So, we are writing them and we add. So, when we add plus y and minus y will cancel and we get 6x is equal to 6 which gives you x is equal to 1. Now substitute this x is equal to 1 in any one equation. If we substitute in 3 we get 3 into 1 plus y is equal to 4 which is 3 plus y is equal to 4 that gives you y is equal to 1. So we get value of x and y. What is important in this? Whenever denominator having binomial with two variable, then after resubstitution also you have to simplify two linear equation and then you will get answer of x and y. So we'll write our final answer x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is a solution of given simultaneous equation. So this is one of the important topic. Four to five questions you have to practice and one question compulsory comes in the examination. So do practice of this. We we'll meet in next lecture and we'll continue with this chapter. Thank you for watching this video.